Hello, hello, hello. Hello, it is Monday. I'm just going to switch that. Oh, it's so bright. It's so bright in here. Sorry for the shine. <laughs> but it's a massive box and it'll only just fit on my <laughs> only just fit on my on my desk. So hello everybody. It is Monday. It is 12.30. Bang on the dot. Hurrah! I'm not late for once. And it's uh, Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today um we are going to well we're going to romp through quite a lot of things today we have first of all i'm going to talk a little bit about on stage and what the royal stampers got up to uh, on stage uh, then i'm going to show you some new stuff Ooh, new stuff lovely uh, then i'm going to show you some other stuff where is it it's under here somewhere we're going to do some crafting uh, and then hi Ange. and then i'm going to show you the new joy to the world paper pumpkin I'm only going to unbox it. I'm not going to make any because we are having our craft along. So we're going to talk about that. So without much further ado, I want to just say a quick thank you to the lovely Sue, who apart from, I mean, I got a massive box of goodies, but I just want to show you these. Look, I got a little crown, a little Make-A-Wish crown and a little guardian angel. That's so cute. And you'll see I've got some other. So my things on my bags are in Crete and that's going to go on my little craft bag. And so is that. So I just want to say a big thank you for Sue. She gave me like a massive box of yellow stuff. Um, it was just amazing. So thank you for that. I love that. I've had another one from Tracy as well. So I've, I think that's now my third share the happiness um, paper pumpkin box. So thank you, everybody, for doing that. Hi, Jane. Nice to see you here. So, yeah, so we had a good time. Um, but I just wanted to mention that before I forgot, because that happened just before on stage last last week um, or the end of the week before. So. However, we did get up to on stage last week. So if you've been watching me on social media, you might have seen some posts. I want to thank everybody for helping me get to my numbers that I got to last year. But that's last year. I know it sounds silly and I do get really excited about it. And I am awed and inspired and amazed that I got to that number in the world and in the UK. Hi, Margaret. Thank you. Um, hey, Lisa. But, you know, that's last year. It's been and done and gone. And I know that sounds really weird, but it has. For me, I'm looking forward. I'm all about the new stuff. OK, so um, thank you, though, because it does mean a lot to me to get there, especially from my team. The stuff that, um, you know, most of the stuff that I got was because my team are just fantastic. Uh, and that's the Royal Stampers. Just in case you didn't know who the Royal Stampers were, the Royal Stampers are my team. And if you want, you can join my team and not only get massive, um, you know, amazing discounts on your products, but also get to be part of a massive fun community who got to go to places like on stage. But what I love about this company, Stampin' Up! is the fact that actually we get friends from all over the place. So like Lisa Jane's in Australia. Lisa's up 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 north, up north, as not that far up north, but she's up north. And um, hi, Lisa. Um, and we've I've got friends all over the world, all over the country, all over the world from all lots of different um, Stampin' Up! groups and stamping up communities and the fact is that we get together and we just support each other and it's amazing okay so for those of you who haven't seen what's inside the on stage box i thought i'd share it with you guys so it's huge so we're going to have to do a bit of juggling around but i went for the swag bag obviously who doesn't go for the swag bag right so <laughs> if you get an opportunity for a swag bag always go for the swag bag so it came in this lovely box in the post and then inside it's very jolly very yellow we like that sunshine very very bright colors so there's this huge bag which has got the stampin up logo on it lovely massive look at that it's huge it's got pockets on both sides and it's got a zipped compartment at the base and the zipped compartment at the base you know this is a massive like crafting travel bag right hi sue hi heather Oh, I miss people as well. I've missed people. I'm sorry. <laughs> the bag is just divine. And underneath the bag, you know, it's like this is what Pacific Point, I think, and pool party. That's what I would call it. And then in here, oh, it's a bit noisy. Sorry. But in here, look, there's this little bag, this little portion here that folds up. Guess what fits in there perfectly? Oh, yes, indeed. Just stamping up trimmer. Look at that. You can fit that right in the base there. Keep that nice and safe go about you you could fit cardstock on the top of that all kinds of other things on the top of that and that's just the bottom part of it inside it's huge you've got two outside pockets double double zipper at the top look at that 
Mahusive. Look how big that is. Huge. And look, it's got ice cream lollies. <gasps> maybe that's a giveaway. Maybe that's a giveaway of something we might be getting in the new catalogue. <gasps> maybe. Uh, inside zipper pocket. Lovely. And you know, I did this because they normally put all their goodie, all our goodies in pockets. So I searched every pocket of this thing. But they didn't put them in the pockets this time. They just put them underneath. So, But it made me go and look at the bag. So that was good. So that's a lovely bag, isn't it? So that's nice. That is fab. Ooh. There we go. No, I'm not going to bother zipping that up. I'm just going to take it away because it's lovely, but it's in the way now. So what else did we get? We got a lovely note from our founder, uh, not our founder, our CEO, our founder's daughter, Sarah. Hello. I'm excited for us on stage at home. I can't wait to virtually meet up with you and thousands of other demonstrators. Did you know we had over 10,000 demonstrators from around the world at this one event? It was fantastic. Um, the swag bag is packed full of fun stuff to enhance your onstage experience. OK, so um, we've got grid paper. Oh, look at that. Exclusive grid paper. Fancy. Nice. We've got notebooks. Lovely notebooks. And, you know, I give these out as uh, prizes to people. Um, and stuff so I never write in my notebooks I always keep them for my team to give out as prizes we've got a lovely new pen I always give pens to our newbies to my new team members um, just as just to say welcome so that's a nice rainbow pen pretty might keep that one because it's a rainbow pen who knows it's nice uh, stickers look at those oh could there be some more suggestions of things that might be in the new catalogue maybe who wants to take a guess um and then we've got another book here which is lovely grid paper great for designing that book so there we go so i've got three notebooks a pen grid paper and a new stamp set look at that isn't that gorgeous isn't it lovely it's really evocative actually of this kind of time of the year sort of as the summer's going over into autumn I've got loads of things like this in my garden because obviously Sean lets everything go over um, because it's great for the birds. So we've got all our poppy heads and seed heads and everything just going over at the moment so the birds can still enjoy them. And I really love this one. And I really love this one. And I really love this one. So and there's nice sentiments. Good things are worth waiting for. A little note. Enjoy the moment. Friendship is found in the simple things and happy birthday. So it kind of covers a lot. Hi, Paula. Kind of covers a lot of things so that's a nice red rubber stamp set we got that included so yeah so we got oh and then finally my favorite bit i know actually the stamp set should be the favorite bit shouldn't it and actually we're going to use that so i'll bring that out but look i got swap badges these are our swap pins trading pins okay so i got a little ice cream lolly i got my on stage and then i got brian the snail i don't know if his name is brian but his name is now brian brian the snail yeah, because he's like Brian out of um, Magic Roundabout, right? But he's got a little letter, a little card on his back. So cute. Although, funnily enough, when I showed that picture to Sean, he thought it was an owl sitting on some kind of leaf. I'm like, really? That's just a man thing. Um, so, yeah, so you're supposed to trade them with other people. So if anybody would like to swap my lollipop with me, I'd be happy to. But Brian is staying with me because <laughs> he's my favourite ever, favourite ever thing. Last year we had them and we were swapping all kinds of stuff. Um, I, I swapped pineapples and um, coloured badges and all that kind of stuff. It was fantastic. Um, but yeah, so it was good. OK, so what else did we get? So then we had the opportunity to buy up front a bundle, of which I'm only showing you these two pieces to start off with. Um, can you see that all right? Is it bright enough? Yeah, this is never bright enough. So this is, um, here we go. This is my dragonfly punch, double dragonfly punch. That's cute. Yeah, so it punches two at once. That's good. And then this is Dragonfly Garden. So this is the these are the products that are part of this uh, bundle um, that you can get in the new catalogue. Not available yet. Don't get excited. The only way you can get this um, before January is if you join my team and buy it as part of your starter kit in December. OK, um, but we could get it. And I thought I would show you what it was that we got and then I can show you some of the stuff we made with it okay 
So the first thing is I always make gifts for my team. This year I had to be a little bit less exciting than I was normally <laughs> because of various circumstances. But I did make gifts for everybody, so I thought I'd show you what I did. So, first of all, they all got a little card. Um, and the cards were motivational kind of cheery uppy cards. And they were a mixture between, I don't know if you can see these. So we had um, dream your dreams with your eyes closed and live your dreams with your eyes open. This one, remember to look up at the stars, not down at your feet. Choose your own adventure imagination is the real magic carpet and tall oaks grow from little acorns um, and then this one was color what a deep and mysterious language the language of dreams uh, don't never underestimate the power of a good outfit on a bad day i quite like that one. Oh, you thought it was now too see oh well see i'll tell sean that he'll feel better i've got bags of enthusiasm totes of Amaze balls. Yes, fab, something else. Can't, can't read that. Be kind to yourself, shine bright, do what makes you happy. Um, and then, yes, you can. You've got this, believe in yourself. So I had lots of different designs and I thought I'd put one in each of their little packets. And then I made them up a little box using our little acetate boxes. So if you've not seen these in the catalogue, these are just the little... Um, they're three by three acetate boxes. I've done some over the summer with zebras. Do you remember that? In fact, I might still be able to pull those out magically with the... Oh, no, whales. Didn't do them with zebras. Did I do them with zebras? I did them with zebras and whales. Here we go. Here are the whales ones. And the magic of television. <laughs> Here's what I did earlier. So, yeah, so these are the two with the little note cards in that I did with the whales. Um, and then these ones I made really simply. My friend Debs helped me put these together before lockdown. Now, now sadly, we can't because she's in lockdown and so am I. There we go. Um, so you fold all your creases like so. And you can do it flat as well, but I quite like doing them together. Make sure I know which way's up. Sometimes you have to fold your ends in a little bit just to get them to stick. There we go. So that's that. Then I cut a piece of some new paper. Ooh. I can hear you all going, ooh, out there. Dandy garden, this is the new paper. Um, it's very bold, I'm going to say. So it's um, with uh, dragonflies and lots of nice florals and lots of... What else we got? This is not winding on. Come on, wind on. Are you nearly at the end, maybe? Come on. Here she goes. Um, so, yes, some dragonflies, dandelions, um, miniature dragonflies. What are they called? Dam damselfri damselflies as well. Um, lots of greenery like this. But some beautiful colours, misty moonlight, yum, mossy meadow, calypso coral, bumblebee and blackberry bliss. I mean, oh, how can you not go yum at that? So all I did was I put that on there. I then had um, celebrate and I popped that onto one of these small, um, what are these called? Stitch nested framelits. No, dies. Stitch nested dies. They are now. Never, I'm never going to get all this. I'm never going to be any good at this, am I? I always forget the names there we go um so that goes on there like so they're so cute and that was in misty moonlight so i tried to pick up some of the colors and then this is one of these where have i put it what have i done with it no i've thrown it on the floor <laughs> if in doubt throw it on the floor so this is one of uh whizzy this one in blackberry bliss punched out with this punch and then a little bit of wink on the on the wings because they have to have sparkly wings because they're damsel dragonflies right like that um hi donna hi nori thank you for joining today and then inside very simply i wanted to put a packet of these can you spot my error they don't fit 
bought them and I thought, oh, they don't fit. And I didn't want to take them out of the packet because keeping them in the packet is kind of important, right? So I just bent the top over <laughs> and then I shoved them in <laughs> and it worked along with some chocolate. And then I attached one of our little ladybugs. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Dawn. So I've only got these ones left. This is all I've got left in my little pot. Now, there has been some controversy in our group about the fact that they they are ladybirds, but I wish they'd made them red because now they look like nits. Just just a little bit, just a tiny bit. But they are actually ladybugs or ladybirds, as we like to call them. So if you come up close to them, they're beautiful. If you saw them on your desk, you might be inclined to smush it, thinking that it was something nasty that had crawled onto it. So just be warned. But when you get them in the light and they're nice and goldy and shiny, they're actually quite cute. But when you get them in the dark like that, it does it doesn't look it's not a good look. But when you get them in the light, they're quite cute. Anyway, so I put a little glue dot, you need a glue dot to hold that on. Glue dot, folded that over, stuck one of those on the front so that they at least had something something from this suite. Because not everybody who went necessarily bought the suite. So I wanted to make sure that at least all of my teamies had something. And then for my um, second and third level, I got I gave them one of my cards and a little uh, note to say thank you for coming. So this was for my, so they got chocolate as well. So it's not up to my normal, like normally I do, well, I, I'm not saying that I do bigger gifts, but I do, I don't know, I, I felt lacking this year. But then there you go, that's just probably in my emotional state as opposed to what they actually got, because everyone seemed to be quite happy. So that was good. So... Anyway, but I thought I would show you this because it's kind of cute, isn't it? Um, and you could put anything, cards or whatever. So I might do a little tutorial on putting some cards together that fit inside because those dragonflies are lovely. So now I've got two whales and a dragonfly. So that's pretty cool. So um, what else did I want to talk to you about? I wanted to talk. Oh, yes. I'm going to show you the other cards that we made over the weekend. And my other deliberate mistake. Honestly, my brain was really not with it. <laughs> over the weekend um on friday when we were doing our crafty because we do crafty makes so i was dead chuffed i thought oh, i've done this really beautifully um and it has come out really lovely and then i realized that actually that gray bit was not the gray bit that i'd cut to put on a card it was the off cut piece from the other half of the it was the other half of an a4 piece like a half an a4 and i should have used this piece and i used this piece so I tried to put it on my card base and realised it wouldn't quite fit because it was too big. And I, did, I couldn't chop it down at that point because I'd put all the paper. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go with it. That's now going to become the centrepiece of a scrapbook page because I could scrapbook about Sean's garden and all that kind of stuff. And I think that would look quite nice, as, um, you know, with a white background or something as a scrapbook page. So watch this space. That's going to become a scrapbook page. Um, in fact, I've got, have I got my scrapbooking paper here? I've got this. I don't know if I've got me white here. No, I don't think so. No, I've put it away somewhere. It's probably with my scrapbooking stuff. I haven't got it right here to hand. Otherwise, I could show you what it would look like on a big white page. But I think it'll look lovely because those it'll pick up the white of the, of the dragonflies and the white in there. So I think that'll come out nice. Anyway, so that was the card we were supposed to be making. <laughs> um, so I made that, caught up with everybody else. Um, and then we did this one and I like this layout because the the paper is actually across the layer behind so you know then we've got something going over the front and I think this suite would coordinate really well with the bees you know the bees we had so and they've got little butterflies going off there as well it's just pretty very pretty um, and then this one is with the um misty moonlight which again is beautiful and we've used the little wing bit here to do the shadow on the wings which i really like and this one is actually punched out from the papers so some of the papers you can punch out too and i like it with the two strips and the third strip behind i still think i'm it, it looks to me like i'm slightly off but it could be an optical illusion but anyway so those are the three cards that we made over the weekend they're pretty aren't they i think they're pretty thumbs up we like we don't like let me know while I have a swig of tea. Oh, maybe you don't like. Oh, no, here we go. I'm starting to get some likes now. Thank you. Oh, lots of likes. Okay, cool. <laughs>
now I know how many seconds you're all behind me so I can just pace myself a little bit better <laughs> well we've got loads of people on watching hello 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 everybody so yes so first of all my little team gift then what we made at the event which was lovely actually it was just so nice to sit and craft I haven't sat and crafted for ages not for a long time so I need to get it feels like ages for me it's ages like two weeks right so, so <laughs> to me that's my ages I haven't crafted for ages like two whole weeks properly um apart from last week when I did some crafting with you guys okay so that was that and then what else oh yes so then this we got at center stage so because I'm a silver elite and above I'm actually a gold title because I have a lovely silver elite in my team Sarah um all silver elites and above get to go to center stage and they get an extra special um hi Gillian hi Marilyn yeah the blue and yellow is my favorite too hi Vicky so um yeah so we get an extra gift which is lovely and this one I looked at it and I went oh, that's nice it's like a charmy bracelet -y thing with a pair of snips now who doesn't need a pair of snips right so that's good but let me show you I haven't opened it till now you're the first people I'm sure I'm actually opening this with do you feel special I hope you feel special I'm not actually going to use my new snips though because like they're new so I feel like I should save them do you ever feel like that it's like paper I, sh I must open them I will open them because I want you all to open your paper so I should I should act the way I want you to <laughs> But yeah, so I don't know if I'm doing this up or undoing it. I can't tell. But the problem is it's got metal in it, so I can't use my snips. I think I'll go this way. Here we go. That seems to be opening. Well, they've tied this one good and proper. Anyway, I had no clue what this was until, thankfully, one of my other um, centre stage attendees in our leaders group actually explained to us how you were supposed to use it and i'm like oh it's like that okay fair enough so and there were lots of different colors so there were green and blue and um orange and yellow and purple somebody had purple and pink i think i'm very jealous of the purple and pink people very jealous but i do like this one but could you imagine if I got purple wouldn't that or pink wouldn't have that been just like perfect anyway so there we go so this comes off and you think oh that's lovely you can attach that to your bag nice little charm it's got a little light bulb on it apparently they're all individual handmade and they're all different isn't that amazing so this one's got a little light bulb on it and up here it's got a little stamping up and then it's got these orangey red and then this silicon bead at the bottom and you think oh, okay that's a bit weird but okay fair enough it's a dangly thing it's nice it's pretty great then somebody explained what you're supposed to do with it and i'm like oh that's genius so the first thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to add it to your snips like so and then should you be careless enough to lose your end because sometimes you do right you stick your snips in the end there and it holds them safe and you can't jab yourself how cool is that <laughs> i'm just like that's amazing so now i'm very happy with my little with my little gift because it's a silicon thing so it self heals and you just pop it back in again when you need to how clever so now i have my snips with my chain it is a bit noisy though for doing for doing videos so i don't think i'll be doing it for videos i'm going to keep them for my special travel snips but what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep them like that to start off with and then when i'm using them on the day to stop myself getting stabbed that's when i'm going to chuck them in there but isn't that clever i think that's so cute but they're a bit noisy for i won't be using them on videos because otherwise you'll be hearing this going on and i think that would annoy people i can see alison now shivering going don't be doing that funny noise it's annoying um, now I do have a little one on here. I've got a little snowflake on the on these just so that I know they're mine. Do you do that? I always do that. So I tie them up so I know they're mine. And on this one, of course, these are my <laughs> yeah, the, the, the case is a bit knackered, but these are my uh, ribbon ones. I know they're my ribbon ones because they've got my crown on. So these ones have got my crown on. So that's that's they're my ribbon ones safely in a packet, not to be used by anybody but me. These are my normal everyday paper and 
ribbon at a push you know they'll they'll cut ribbon they're okay because they're not gluey and then of course i've got my gluey ones which have got my tatty orange thing on to say that they're glue um so now i have another pair which is fab i mean i do have another two pairs in my bag but now i've got another because you can never have too many snips right can you never ever ever have too many snips okay so that's that and i'm glad i've managed to now unbox it you would have liked to have seen purple ones me too and i tell you they were pretty they were very pretty too um okay so the next thing that i wanted to share with you was a bit of crafting because i love the kit and i do think that if you haven't had if you haven't got the kit definitely talk to me about getting the kit because it is fab but i'm just going to do a spot of crafting i've no idea how this is going to work by the way because i haven't practiced this so please bear with me if it goes incredibly peak tom um but you know we'll live in hope that's what i reckon we'll live in hope um i've seen it done um hopefully that i can make it work so i've got some of this gorgeous pool party paper from the snowflake set snowflake spender now i haven't worked with this with anybody outside of my retreat because this was my retreat papers and so they've seen all my stuff but you guys haven't seen my stuff unless you were part of retreat so this is all new to you using these papers from me because we've not seen it before but they are beautiful beautiful papers but i want this side and i want this side so that i can stamp on it okay so we're going to do a bit of stamping we're going to use the new stamp set and i'm going to use both of these i haven't even got it out of the packet see because i didn't do any crafting over the weekend because apart from the the friday when we were all crafting um i didn't have time to do any other crafting over the weekend because we were clearing mum's flat however that is now we've got out of it everything we want and house clearance comes next week and we sold the piano and that was all marvelous because dad would be very happy that the piano was going to somebody who liked it so we managed to do all of that stuff and get that removed so that's at least the good thing is that because we have a legal requirement to be out by a certain date we can still have things like house clearance and stuff come in and help us do things before um even though we're in lockdown so we managed to do that masks on all weekend pretty much but we got all it done got it all done half of it's now sitting behind me <laughs> you're watching while you work margaret excellent um and um yeah so we managed to do all of that which was great uh, but i was absolutely exhausted and, and obviously wasn't here all weekend so i haven't crafted and i'm feeling the need to get my new stuff out so i thought you know what i'm gonna get my new stuff out okay and then i like this sentiment um which one is it friendship is found in simple things i like this one because it is it's the simple things like all the cards i've had over the past four weeks just blown me away thank you so much to everybody who sent me a card because it means a, an awful lot to me i'm very very grateful for being a member of a crafting community um so that i can have such beautiful things in my house when i really need to see some beautiful things so thank you um and i haven't been able to thank everybody personally because i've just been rushed off my feet but um i want to i'm going to put them all into like a collagey thing and hopefully um you can you'll see your card up in lights that's my plan but i have to have time to do that properly so i will do that when i do but don't think that i have not you know enjoyed having the cards uh mum's good lisa jane thank you for asking yes she's in her home and there she's still in quarantine so i can't go and see her for a bit um she'll be out of quarantine on thursday i think this week and then i have to book but the good thing is that the nursing home have got a fantastic um visiting room that's safe covid safe and that they clean between every visit so i'm allowed to go and see her i just have to book a time and then go and see her which is fab so that's going to go on there that's going to go on there it's looking pretty i love these like um i don't know if you can see but can you see it looks it just looks like a um, watercolor effect it's ice crystals that have melted and then they've put them into papers it's lovely did you see a post yes there is a post somewhere which has got the names of them all um because some of them are like 
um this is poppies i know that well this is poppies can't remember what this is but yes this is sycamore there's definitely a post somewhere and i think i think that they come from all over the world like in all of our different um markets a bit like love of leaves and thank you again for to everyone who's booked in for love of leaves it's going to be a cracking class um there's 14 of us so we're going to be playing on zoom 14 of us working with love of leaves and again all of the leaves from the love of leaves set come from all of the markets of stamping up around the world how cool is that isn't that great i think that's great uh anyway that's just me um right so i'm going to put some grid paper down because i don't i'm going to stamp off i'm going to excuse your eyes for a moment i apologize but they'll be better in a minute it's only going to be for a moment okay so this is designed in my head but it's not actually um I've not actually practiced it. <laughs> so, yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, it is Lisa Jane. It's good. I can go and see her. That's fair. She'll be happy about that. Uh, yes, Carol, it's soft, sw soft swad, <laughs> soft suede, soft suede card. And then it is um, pool party as the layer. And then the paper is the one from the um, snowflake, snow, snowflake Splendor. Right. So I'm just going to pop this one down up here like so doesn't that look great and then i'm going to pop this one down here like so and i'm going to have it coming in, uh, in at an angle but it needs to be a little bit of a higher angle than that bit just about there excellent that'll be good so it's connected but not quite then we're going to go in and do a bit of blending hi rachel how are you good and I've forgotten my crumb cake. Hold on, I need the crumb cake. Ta-da. I picked up my soft suede, not the crumb cake. I always pick up the wrong one, don't you? It's always the way. So crumb cake is what we're after. Uh, and I'm just I'm just basically doing what one of the guys or um, the concept artist actually for this particular for some of all of our lovely stamp sets was just showing this off um, online. I'm not doing masses of it just going to do some of it and then I'm going to add something that I thought about adding based on something that one of my teamies had done too so I'm just filling in this is the dark one so I'm just going to go dark where it's dark okay a little bit of shading not much just a little bit like so then we're going to go in with our crumb cake light basically this is just so that you can change the seed pods so that they're not pool party but i quite although to be honest i quite like the pool party bit in it nice might leave a little bit leave a little bit lighter in the middle i love this effect of stamping onto onto design a series paper because we we often forget to do this but it's a lovely effect it gives gorgeous colors and then I can go back in and I can darken that up a bit if I want to. This one I'm just going to go all the way over because I don't want it to be quite that green. So I'm going to go all the way over with my, this is my light crumb cake. Now it doesn't work exactly the same as it does with... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? With paper, normal cardstock. Okay, so it is slightly different. I'm going to go in and put some dark shading in now. This is with the soft suede itself. Because I still feel it's a little light in some places. But it's pretty, isn't it? See how it kind of brings it to life a bit more. I mean, I like them individually as silhouette um, images too, but I like them like this. There we go. Back in with the dark crumb cake again. And that's the great thing about um, blends. You just keep blending until you're happy with the colour. Until it does what you want it to do. 
can't really go wrong. Love a love something you can't really go wrong with. Don't you think? Go back in a bit more dark here, here, and then go back in again with the light. There we go. Right now, to to pop that on my card, I've brought out my ribbon. So that's all our shading now. One of the things, oh, I knew there was something else. I've got my pool party ones here and, I'm, and I forgot. <laughs> One of the other things that you can do is you can add shadow. So you can add shadow behind your, um, behind these quite almost brutally, if I'm honest. I was thinking, oh my goodness, what are they doing? But I like it. It's nice. It comes out nice. So some dark shadowing behind. You know, I've, I've shared before about doing some, some shadowing just all the way round with a very light colour but this one you can do with this and then lighten it up but still have that shading behind and especially with this papers where it's all sort of merging into that it looks quite good that you've, you've got that added shading coming in from from there and then I'm going to go all the way around my one because I do like bringing it in a little bit on this side too. Not masses, but just a little bit. Technical term. There we go, just to make it look a bit more. Because this one would shade this one too. So I'm actually, I might actually join those two up. That's probably the easiest thing to do because they would shadow each other if the light was coming in from this side. Do you see what I mean? It's cool, huh? And then it sort of blends it right into the paper like that, which is lovely. OK, so that's that. Then I've got my ribbon and this I'm going vanilla because I, I feel like vanilla is the way to go with this one. So I don't know why I, I often put vanilla with soft suede. It's just um, a nice combo. I can get rid of that now. Don't need that. Get your eyes back in. So I'm attaching this to this with my multi-purpose. See how it's come through on the back? That's perfectly normal. It does make them look more 3D. Yeah, Carol, yes, that's exactly right. Just adds that 3D effect. And um, I like that you can be quite bold with it on these on the papers like this. Okay. It just worked perfectly, I thought, on these papers because they're the already pool party but you could add it to any color really right so the papers that they used on on stage were the ones from um what they were from the good taste in good taste the wood grain and the you know those ones lovely okay now i don't very often go all the way around but i am going to with this one uh we're going to actually i'm going to no, I don't want to do that, do I? Do I? Can't remember now what I had in my head. I know in my head we're definitely doing that. Yeah, we're doing this and then we're going to put a sentiment on it. That's right. Oh, I've forgotten then for a moment. <laughs> oh dear, there we go. Like so. And then I'll put a bow on afterwards if I feel like I want it. But I know I want to do something that I need to do once it's attached down there we go. actually I will be putting a bow on it because my sentiment's bigger than that isn't it I've gone for the other sentiment oops thinking about it I've gone for this sentiment so I might do I might just stamp that there now while we're at it let's do that soft suede again Now I do need to practice because I haven't stamped this one before. I need to check that my um check how my lineup is. Is it straight or is it not straight? Oh, it's pretty good. Okay. That's good. So provided I get my eyes in. There we go. Is that good? Is that straight? That looks straight. Yeah, that looks right. So <laughs> few. Okay, so once that's on there, 
we will put in a very vanilla uh, she says do I have an inner do I have a I have some card I can do as an inner so that's good it's not perfectly straight but it'll be fine uh, we'll pop that on my card remembering to go over the ribbon so you've got a double extra hold on that just because sometimes ribbon is pingy if you know what I mean it pings off and then that that's not helpful Nicely done. Even. Ish. <laughs> there we go, that's better. Go straight. There we go. So that's that. I will now tie a bow here. And I want to get this in before I do my next bit. Okay. So now this ribbon is sometimes you can you can look at it as being odd because it's going to have the frills on both sides, or you can embrace the frill on both sides. And go for it which is what I have sometimes you can get the frill like I have here to sit straight so it's both scallops are at the bottom is what I'm talking about in case anyone's wondering sometimes you get them up the other way but do you know what it doesn't matter it's it's frills it's pretty and then chop Thank you Leslie. I'm finally having a chance to play. So there we go, that's that. And then I love being able to come and do my Facebook lives and play with you guys live. <laughs> I feel like I'm just sitting with someone chatting and going, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? So we'll stick that in there and then we'll pop this, make this a 10. So 14.4 by 10 is the sizing for the inside, which is the same as the sizing I did for the top. And then, which one should I put on the inside? I, I really like this one. I'm going to do this one, and you'll see why I really like this one in a moment. I mean, both of them will work, but this one I think will look really nice on the inside. Just sort of sits nicely. Shouldn't have put my grip paper away, should I? There we go. Sits nicely, and then we can very juicy pads because they're new so I'm just going to let that dry for a second and then pop this on the inside and then I want to do something which I've not done before so it could all go horribly wrong now so take a picture of that make sure that you've saved it in case it all goes horribly wrong and then I have to bin what I'm about to bin it all but I, don't, I hope not I hope not so I'm going to pop that there yeah see that fits perfectly on there it looks nice on that inside piece like so okay oh except i've slid it all how did i manage to slide it that far that way come back come back come back come back here a little bit that's better don't slide all the way over there okay so that's that now that's pretty is it not i think is that a lotus it could well be there's a there's a list up somewhere i need to go and grab it I'll put the list up. I'm going to have a swig of tea because I'm going to start playing with this stuff. Which it's got a noisy ball in it. This is champagne mist. Last year I used a lot of frosted white or frost white um, and I never really got around to using my champagne. So I thought today I would bring that out along with my little brushes because I just had a thought these are the new water brushes I thought I'm gonna have a go now I might need the cloth excuse the state of my cloth it needs a wash um, you push the sides and then the water comes through down here okay and I'm just going to take out of here this is a gorgeous sort of well it's a champagne color so that's all you can really call it. It's a champagne colour. But I'm going to use my brush to just add a touch of the champagne sort of as highlights where I think we might have a bit of a highlight coming through. It's quite, um, I think this needs a bit more of a shake. It's, it needs to be a bit less gloopy. Hold on, I'm going to shake it. There we go, it's been sitting for a, nearly a year sitting in my 
in my cupboard. Um, right, here we go, that's better. So we're just going to add some highlights to this. It's a bit like Wink Costello. You're not going to see it very much until it comes into the light. So bear with. But then you'll see, hopefully, where is it shining? Is it shining? I can see it shining. Oh, there. Can you see that shining? There. See that? Beautiful. So you could really sort of highlight the centre and the top pieces, put some extra bits, glitzy bits up here with these top parts. A bit of glitz over here where the sun's hitting it. I was kind of thinking that this, it, it's almost like it's a frosty morning and I just wanted some highlights, but I didn't want to use the frosty one because I thought it would be too bright against the brown. And then I thought we could just frost up the top of this. So it's, it's like it's been touched by frost in the morning. And then it just has a little sparkle to the bits that are sort of highlighted. There we go. Okay, so hopefully, if I can turn that to the light, we can now, can you see that shimmering? There we go. In real life, you can really get a whole, uh, and the thing is, it's champagne, so it's the same sort of colour tone as the seed pods. I think it needs a bit more down here in the centre. And because you're using your water brush you can you can make it um lighter or darker depending on you know you can you can rinse it through if you wanted. Put some of these little knobbly bits coming down here. And then whilst that bit dries I thought I'd do the same on the inside because you know why not the same on the inside. So we could just put some frosting just along the top here, even though we haven't actually coloured this one, I think you can still add a bit of bit of sparkle on your inside of your card. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. So now we have a little bit of sparkly magic on the inside as well. Are they still available? Yeah, they're absolutely. These are in the catalogue. So. Yeah, you can get the frost white and the champagne they are in i'll grab my catalog hold on uh, and then of course we need an envelope because we also do, we never leave our envelopes bare do we so we'll do the we'll just do the stamping on the envelope i don't um because i'm cleaning my brush off now so you just clean it off by washing it through and there you go go on. so you can get these you get three now in a pack of these and one of them's a middle in one of them's the fine and then this one's a wide brush like a big wide brush i haven't really used them yet you know we haven't played with watercolor yet this since i've had them which is weird because it's like been ages so i need to do a bit more of that uh let's get an envelope and stamp that up and then where are my vanilla envelopes here we go oh vanilla envelope so this time i think i'll do the other seed pods on this one that way they've got something different Page 147. Thank you, Linda. Always a star, as ever. Uh, yeah, I've got these on here, I think, like that. So then when you send your envelope, they've got something nice at the front. If you wanted to, you could put the other one on the back, but I quite like that just as it is. See, I think it's lovely just like that, isn't it? But it's also nice coloured in and then shimmered up. Nice shimmery. So there we go. So that is not available yet, the, um, the Enjoy the Moment stamp set, but this stuff is and the joy to the world is and you could add this to anything so um thank you hi leonie you've got to go and pick up the kids <laughs> yeah i know i'm going to do some more with that um so thanks rachel so page 147 let's have a look 147 here we go yeah so it's in this fantastic page which is just full of so many yummy yummy things that you don't really know where to start first <laughs> Um, so here they are, hidden away, shimmer paint, frost white and champagne mist. The frost white, let me just get that, Ooh, oh, chair rolled away so far, got to wheel it back in again. The frost white is this one and it really is a a white, like a real frosty, 
creamy creamy white it's lovely really nice uh, yeah it's got to be on your list it's lovely you can do so many different techniques with it so that's there and then the, the water painters are down here so it's 11 25 you get three yeah, and you can see thin medium and wide which is cool um and this paper is the snowflake paper out of the christmas catalogue and this ribbon's available this is um, in this catalogue it's one of our annual ribbons and i think that kind of comes out nice i'd like I, I think you could do this beautifully on trees and leaves and you know pretty much anything um you just got the frost white cow yeah so you could you, you could use it on anything but i just thought the champagne looked lovely with the brown so so there we go and it is now half past one good heavens almost on time so <laughs> we've done lots today haven't we we've talked about we talked about my snips we've done my little gift we've done all of these cards well we haven't done them but i've shown them to you um and then we finished off with this one and it's envelope don't forget it's envelope so that's not bad that's not bad today so i hope you've enjoyed it if you've been inspired and you would like to come and join the fun with the royals because we have a lot of fun um then let me know and we can talk about joining because it's really easy and you know there's no nasties hidden nasties or anything like that um and we love people to join our team and then you'll be able to get this before anyone else so that's always a bonus but <laughs> otherwise i will see you here next week i will see um my teamies on saturday for our special team training uh, morning and then i will see all of my lovely class attendees at my love of leaves class well we've got simply stylish before that um that hasn't closed yet so simply stylish is on the 22nd of this month so if you want to book in for simply stylish let me know and um otherwise love of leaves is now closed and booked and everything ordered so when that comes in i'll be packing that all up and sending that all off to you so thank you very much for watching i hope you've had fun <laughs> and i hope you've in, i've inspired you to try something different even if it's just stamping on some paper coloring with some paint um or you know blending with some paper or whatever so yeah i hope i've inspired you to do something else this week so have fun i'll see you next week thanks ever so much for watching you take care now bye